Yes, I, well, I don't see Alan Titford as a as a poster boy. He's just someone who was particularly um, victimised by this process and has done an exhaustive amount of work to prove that the treaty claim on his farm was false. And the state, not to mention Tororo, the local iwi, don't like that. Uh, and now we find that. Uh, he has been put away for 24 years for crimes that did not involve anybody dying, which is an extraordinary length of time. 39 charges of all sorts of things, including the arson of his house, um, which we can now prove didn't happen, according to the affidavit of his sister-in-law, who was favourably disposed towards his wife, but nonetheless uh, went according to her conscience and... Uh, has written an affidavit saying that Sue has told her that her father burnt down the house. She, she told, he, he told her that on his deathbed. Um, so that is one of the major charges which now must be brought into question. There are two rape charges which now must be brought into question because of other evidence, um, including that uh, her own diary did not say that he raped her on the day which she subsequently said that he did. Uh, only that he pushed her out of bed because he was grumpy, that he wouldn't have sex with her. Now that's not very nice, but it isn't rape. And so um, the man deserves at least a fair trial. Uh, and he didn't get one. He got a totally one-sided trial where the only witnesses that were called were people favourable to the Crown. The only people whose testimony got him put away were those who had something to gain from taking his property, in other words his wife and kids and a few friends. How he ties in with the uh, treaty claim, which I now realise was the question, how it ties in, how it ties in with the treaty claim uh, is simply that he is a man who's done a lot of work on his particular claim. There are many other people who hold these views. Um, it doesn't depend on Alan Titford uh, being innocent of the personal crimes. Uh, he could be Jack the Ripper for all we know. Uh, it wouldn't alter the fact that he was ripped off over his farm. He and his wife. Uh, who has now turned on him, now that he's taken up with another woman. Um, now that uh, it suits her, she's turned on him, but before, for 24 years, she was part of this forensic study of, uh, of, the, of the history, of the claim, and she even now believes that that study was correct and that that evidence was correct. Okay, well, that's all I have to ask. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks.